Hi, welcome to Voice Bootcamp. In this video, we're going to talk about control hub provisioning. So here our objective is to learn about the contact center portal. We're going to talk about the hierarchy of the control hub uh, as well as their roles and understand the creation of the users. Now, there are various portals that are part of your Cisco WebEx solution. You have the CCW portal, which is for registering deals, uh, configuring pricing WebEx Contact Center product. This is the Cisco Commerce Workshop. Then you have the Control Hub. This is the web interface that you I've already shown you, a portal that fulfills the order, provisioning the centralized management of your bundle, bundle flex offers, such as Cisco Contact Center, Cisco WebEx Calling, and WebEx Team and Mini. You can manage all those three different pro uh, services from Control Hub. Then you have a Cisco WebEx contact center management portal for managing your contact set tenant. So every time you create a new customer or you assign a new customer uh, a web portal, this will be the contact center management portal, or often known as where tenant portal. Agent portal, this is for agent web portal to handle their calls or otherwise uh, desktop. Connect and engage, which is a new digital channel portal. Now, what is the relationship between the customers, partners, and Cisco? Cisco, of course, provide the management of your central uh, WebEx contact center data center. But Cisco directly do not create customers or provide restriction to customer profiles. These are the job of partners. The Cisco partners with the, with the various level will have partner admin access, which will probably uh, give you a profile uh, based on your purchases. Now, you'll work with your sales staff from Cisco partner sales staff. Partner sales staff will in, in exchange work with Cisco to fulfill your orders through the Cisco commerce page. Once the financial part and the agreement is taken care of, the partner will then create a new account for you. Now this account will be done on the partner at portal, which is be manage and response um, uh, will be responsible of the partner to manage that account. Now once that partner provide you an access, then the customer can log in within customer access to get access to their control hub. This is where customers start to configure uh, settings for uh, for their organizations. Now you have something called tenant management, which will be managed by uh, the partner and the customers to a certain degree because partner will give customers access to the tenant management 